Hey everyone, Stephanie Gold here, and today I have a little video that you guys have been requesting on how to make that heart knot that I had on my card. I'm putting this video in super slow motion for you guys, so hopefully you can see it really well. I'm also going to be making this knot really big instead of really small, how I usually work with it. And hopefully this will give you a better idea of how to create this knot. So the first thing I'm doing is I am going to cross one side underneath the other side and to help me show you and to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to use a little piece of washi tape and just tape that end down. The next thing that I'm going to do is use this bottom piece and I'm going to loop it through the little hoop that we have just created. And as you can see, it's going to create a little bit of an upside down pretzel shape. The next thing I'm going to do is take that same piece and I'm going to loop it back around without going underneath. So to keep this in place and from moving around a bit, I'm going to use another little piece of washi to just hold it and steady where, when I'm working with it. Now again, working with that same end, I'm going to go stay on top of that piece, but go underneath the center piece and over top of the bottom. You can kind of see how that loop on the right hand side is sort of freestanding without, except for the piece of washi. So the next thing I'm going to do is still working with that same piece. I am going to go ahead and take it and wrap it back around under, over, under, over. Now let me show you. That first piece, we're going to go underneath. And then we're going to go over the top one. Underneath the next one. and then over again the top, the last one. Now at this point you have all of your knot portions made. All you're going to do is remove the washi and gently fudge your knot a little bit here and there until it's nice and tight and forming the shape of the heart. Now if you're using a silky type of twine or ribbon or even rope if you're practicing, this part is going to go pretty easily. Right now I'm working with something a little bit harder and that natural twine that I had used on my original card was also a little bit harder so you do have to work with it with your fingers a little bit here and there until you get the finished result you would like. And that's it. You can use this little puppy on anything you'd like. I have a fun little project using Rebecca Luminarius's new gift wrap kit on my blog. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.